Hello, grade 8 learners! It's Antrop time for technology and livelihood education. I am Teacher Leo, and you are watching your favorite classroom right here on Dep Ed Zampin Educational TV. Believe? Together, we can! In today's lesson, we will learn the different types and forms of business venture. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to Identify the different types and forms of business venture Relate personal entrepreneurial competency in choosing types or forms of business venture Entrepreneurship consists of vast career options depending on the passion and field of interest of the entrepreneur the saying, when you love what you do, it's as if you're not working, is very much applicable to entrepreneurs who consider managing their business as enjoyment rather than working exhaustively. I know that you have identified your own personal entrepreneurial competencies. What are your strengths and areas for development in terms of entrepreneurial skills? Now, do you have an idea what type of business or entrepreneurial activity you want to start? Let me guide you on some of the common small businesses in the Philippines. Sari Sari Store There are approximately more than 1 million Sari Sari stores in the Philippines. Situated in almost all neighborhoods, these convenience stores provide affordable basic retail products to nearby communities. A Sari Sari store is one of the easiest businesses to set up due to the minimal capital required and because it can be managed at home, where the business owner lives. Rice Retailing because rice is the staple food of Filipinos, rice retailing business is very common in the country. According to the infographic presented by Rappler in the year 2012, Filipinos spend 20% or 20 centavos for every peso for rice. Food cart business. This business is also very popular in the Philippines. The number of food cart businesses is not as big as the number of Sari Sari stores. But, food carts are present in almost every populous location. They are usually located inside or outside the malls, schools, parks, train stations, and offices. Popular food items sold in food carts are dumplings like shawmai. Boiled fertilized duck eggs and quail eggs dip fried in batter such as the tok neneng and kwek kwek. Fish balls and squid balls, burgers, fried noodles, shawarma, hot dogs, sandwiches, pizza, donuts, and pastries. Food cart businesses are usually under franchising arrangements. Printing business This business is also lucrative in the Philippines because the demand is very high. Usually situated near schools and offices, printing businesses cater to the needs of the students for their projects and also to offices for their advertising and business requirements such as flyers, billboards, magazines, newspapers, journals, and calendars. Printing businesses also cater to the printing demands of occasions such as weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, funerals, and graduations. Buy and sell business This business is one of the emerging business in the Philippines, and it is not just done traditionally in brick and mortar store, but also over the internet. The influx of buying and sell websites has changed the behavior of how Filipinos exchange goods in the most efficient and practical way. 
Everyone can technically be a seller even without an actual business. Street food business. Just like the food cart business, this kind of business is widespread in the Philippines. Street food business are literally located in streets, selling almost the same food products being sold by the food cart business. Majority of the street food business owners are selling grilled food items such as barbecue. Some unusually popular street foods are isaw or the so-called chicken intestines, Betamax or the chicken blood, and Adidas or the chicken feet. The famous balut which is called developing duck embryo, is also sold in the streets. These street food businesses have been successful and are timeless. Flea market business or changge. In all these types of business, entrepreneurs set up a small space and sell any type of goods in a palenque setup that is normally in an open space. Customers are more interested to buy from these flea markets because they can bargain for the price. Products being sold range from clothes to food items to souvenirs and to household effects. Online selling business. This business deals with adding the internet as a marketing and transaction channel for selling. This is very similar with the buy and sell business, except that the focus is on selling existing and established products online. The internet has revolutionized the way Filipinos transact business. Cell phone loading business. More than 95% of Filipinos are prepaid mobile phone users according to an article published by the Philippine Daily Inquirer in the year 2012. Moreover, 80% of Filipino households have access to mobile phones. This is the reason why there are so many cell phone loading stations in the country. Some entrepreneurs link the cell phone loading business to their existing businesses such as the Sari Sari store, food cart, or online business. Laundry and dry cleaning business. This type of business is often located at central business districts in areas with several condominiums and townhouses. Furthermore, these business establishments also have a significant presence near schools, dormitories, and apartment. One thing common about the residents of these places is that they do not have enough time to wash and dry their clothes and just give the job to the laundry and dry cleaning business. The business owner should follow hygiene requirements before starting this business. It's taking time. Get your journal notebook or any sheet of paper. Write down your reflections. Here are the guide questions. List down the top five common types of business that you can see in your community. If you are to choose, what type of business would you like to start based on the interests and entrepreneurial skills that you possess. Let's find out what you got from our discussion. Identify the different small businesses in the Philippines. 1. It is one of the easiest businesses to set up due to the minimal capital required and because it can be managed at home, where the business owner lives. What do you think is the answer? 
The correct answer is Sorry Sorry Store. Congratulations! Two, this business are usually located inside or outside the malls, schools, parks, train stations, and offices. What do you think is the answer? Food cart. Good job. Three, some entrepreneurs link this business to their existing businesses such as the Sari Sari store, food cart, or online business. What do you think is the answer? Cell phone loading business. Well done. 4. In this type of business, entrepreneurs set up a small space and sell any type of goods in a Palenque setup that is normally in an open space. What do you think is the answer? Flea market business. 5. These businesses have been successful and are timeless. What do you think is the answer? Street food business. Congratulations! Wow! You did great in organizing your thoughts about starting your own business. Keep your eyes and minds open. Let us remember, no successful business started huge right away. A business starts with an idea. Once the business is established, the business owner, the entrepreneur, can choose to expand and explore franchising, entrepreneurship, that's managing a startup business in an established business, and acquisition, that's buying another similar business or a new business. Now let us see how much you have learned in our lesson today. Paper and pen ready? Quiz time. Question number one. Entrepreneurship consists of vast career options depending on the passion and field of interest of the entrepreneur. True or false? True. Question 2. Laundry and dry cleaning business are often located at central business districts and areas with several condominiums and townhouses. True or false? True. Question number three. The influx of buy and sell websites has changed the behavior of how Filipinos exchange goods in the most efficient and practical way. True or false? True. Question number four. Printing business is also lucrative in the Philippines because the demand is very high. True or false? True. Question number five. An average Filipino consumed an average of 92 kilograms kg of rice from the 1980s to 1990s, 111 kilograms from 2008 to 2009, and 119 kilograms from 2009 to 2012. True or false? False. Because an average Filipino consumed an average of 90 to kilograms kg of rice from the 1980s to 1990s, 111 kilograms from 2008 to 2009, and 119 kilograms from 2009 to 2010, not 2009 to 2012. Congratulations, job well done. This has been another day of thinking, 
doing and learning right here on your favorite educational TV. I am Teacher Leo saying, keep learning and improving yourself. Be an entrepreneur. Remember to always keep watching DepEd Educational TV. Believe, together we can. Cre, junto junto, puede. See you next time.